all good. Okay. All right. So MP3. I just do one endpoint for this demonstration video. Makes it easier. All right. And these are these are fine. Good to go. So okay. So basically, for this demonstration video, I have a a basic <coughs> minimal. Uh, configuration of, of course obtaining the correct auth hashes and if you intend to stream with mp3 your mp3 unlock name and mp3 unlock code right I feel like I'm forgetting something no? not forgetting anything alright so <coughs> Just see if I've installed here. So I'm going to go ahead. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to back up my configuration. That way, if I need to change something, I don't have to change. I don't have to retype everything in. So I'm going to download it. I'm going to download it. Now, the download button does not show. It does not work. Right-click the menu button and choose Global Setting Options. Global Settings. This open a page to be site where you need to go to security settings panel link. Security settings panel link. Security settings panel. Where'd it go? I'm blind. Ah, global security settings panel. Okay, this content requires flash. Oh, I gotta en enable the site. Hello, Micromedia. Hello, Adobe. Okay. <coughs> okay, and on the page you need to enter the folder path to the configuration. Oh, right. Page showing you, you will then need to enter the folder path to the configuration builder and refresh the configuration builder page and download button should not work. Oh, I gotta re enter everything. Guess I should have checked for that first. Alright, shell cast. Config builder. Alright, so now I've got. Okay. Refresh the page, and the download should work. Okay, refresh the page. <coughs> Make sure everything is there where I want it. <laughs> I misspelled playlist. Okay, please work. Hey, it's gonna work. Okay. I'll just copy and paste faster this way. Always copy and paste whenever you can. That way you know you didn't screw up. <coughs> Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna save my config builder settings now.
and the file has saved. <coughs> now, to demonstrate the restoring ability of the config builder, I'll go ahead and reset the config builder to its default and force refresh the page. As you can see, what I've entered before is gone. So I'm going to go ahead and restore the file. And you can see it came back, including all your calendar events, <coughs> all the playlist events, all your off hashes, and all your MP3 unlock coder stuff. So that's the first thing you want to do when you finish your config builder settings is download your backup file. That way if something stupid happens you can get it right back. Okay, everything after you've got everything set up, you just go ahead and start downloading files. It's really easy. And you down you should download them to your your shoutcast install folder where it is easier. Sometimes you might have to click twice. And we're gonna gonna download the uh, the launcher files too here. Download, save. All right, so we've downloaded a total of five files. Well, actually six if you can if you uh, count the uh, config builder backup. And so, right from the get-go, you can see you've got a, a batch file here where you can uh, that has already uh, in it the appropriate stuff to start your your shoutcast tools with the correct file pass as parameter. Easy. And you can even make a, a link on your desktop to them um, for even easierness. If that's even a word. And don't just copy it. Create a shortcut. That way if you ever update, if you ever have to update your, uh, your configuration file itself, all you gotta do is re-download the, uh, re the startup batch file and not have to replace these. So for demonstration, we'll go ahead and start it. And voila! We have a working Shoutcast DNAS and a working Shoutcast transcoder. Now of course the uh, the, uh, the keys and, and the codes were all wrong so it's going to exit like that, but uh, <coughs> uh, if it was a valid key and a valid name, it would have worked. <laughs> I'm not showing you mine. Alright, so that's Config Builder. Uh, it is fairly easy. At least I've tried to make it easy. Uh, anyways, if you have any feedback or questions, uh, post back on the WinApp forums. You can shoot me a PM or start a new thread or however you want to do it. <coughs> Preferably start a new thread, that way we got a knowledge base of information to work from. Oh, there you go. The Shoutcast 2 Configuration Builder Demonstration Video.